that has greatly disappointed me since I've been living here is the amount of coonery that I've seen in Tokyo. And sorry to say, but it's mainly from black men from America. The way that I have to watch y'all treat me and my fellow black sisters, but treat the Japanese women all delicately like they're special flowers is insane. The amount of times that I've met black men from America who give people the N-word here is crazy. I recently went to a club and this black guy was asking me how my experience is here dating and I was telling him and then he was like, well, I'm in heaven here because, you know, they like fetishize us so they be worshiping us and doing whatever the f so I'm in heaven. What? None? Or the black men that'll be talking to me and then when we get done, they're like, I enjoyed the conversation. You're so cool. I love black women. I worship black women. I wish there was more in Tokyo. And then we'll go over to their Japanese girlfriend and then talk about us. When black American men get over here, the coonery be on 10. Y'all need to pipe down because they do not watch y'all. Now that I've been living in Japan for a while now and kind of been in the dating scene, I think these videos should stop. I get that like before when I was in America watching them, I'd be like, see, Japanese people will date us. You know, they will like us. And then like when they say they wouldn't, I would genuinely get mad and be like, but why not? And after living here, I realized that like, even though we see these videos online of like some Japanese people saying they would, when you get here, you're most likely not going to find them. And even if they get on those videos and say they would, most likely they're not they're, like when they come face to face with you, they're not going to do it. Just already assume that they're not going to date you. Just already believe that they're not going to date you. And if they do, they're probably not going to take you seriously unless you're palm colored. And that's just the really real, really real of it. Yo, what's up, guys? Back again with another video for the passport bros. First and foremost, please hit that like, comment, subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot, and I appreciate it very, very dearly. Now we have this passport sis, der, speaking on her experiences in Japan, and it wasn't really meeting up to her expectations as she thought like a lot of these passport sisters like to think basically seeing the difference of how black men in particular passport bros but not just black men you know black passport bros is not just black men it's white men hispanic men asian men as well but in this particular video, we're talking about black men and how much praise and adoration and love we get in Japan and just the difference of treatment. And she herself was slighted in seeing that. Even so, a man even came up to her and said, oh, these these women, they love us. They're, they're they treat us so well and this and that. And she takes it as, oh, fetish sizing, oh, and all this, just from her own per perception, her own perspective from the conversation, she got, oh, they're just fetish, fetish, fetish sizing these men. Because that's what they want to believe. That's what fits their narrative. That's what benefits what they think. So that's what they are going to say. Oh, it's just fetish sizing. No way and no how could it possibly be, you know, that these Japanese women actually see the value in these black men. No way how, you know, these Japanese women actually can find a common ground dating and being with these black men for the rest of their lives. Like just, oh, well, they, you know, they're just fetishizing you. They're just fetishizing you because all oh, your quick break, guys. I just wanted to introduce to you the free money making guide to become a passport bro and sustain your lifestyle overseas how to make money as a passport bro working remotely get your guide now join the community the link is in the description below and in the comment section as well let's get this money guys you're black and they just they just want to just get with the black guys like okay but if that was true why are they creating families with these black men why are they having children spending the rest of their lives with these black men, incorporating these black men into their community, their family, their culture, everything. Creating whole families, having three, four, five, six kids with these black men and living happily ever in their marriage with these men, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, and, and beyond. If it was just a fetish, 
and they just wanted to just you know experience or you know what it's like to be with a black guy then they shouldn't have to do that for very long they 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 wouldn't be marrying us they wouldn't be having whole families with us they wouldn't be introducing us to mommy and daddy and and grandpa and grandma and like a lot of these things that a lot of these women say is just frankly just not true it's not true but it's funny because a lot of those things that she's saying was actually true for her from her perspective because a lot of these western women that go to these other countries thinking that they're going to have the same type of success like the western men are sadly mistaken because a lot of these women are not open and willing to adapt they have a very closed mindset which is a very western mindset of oh i'm the best i'm the prize i'm a special we're the best we're the ones we're number one you have to listen to us it's our say goes and you have to conform and and bend to our will you have to listen to us because we're the best we're the one you got to listen to us and that's that it's like that mentality works in america but if you take that same mentality that same mindset that same behavior that same outlook to another country in particular an easter country that is rather very traditional in their culture it's going to be a very hard time for you to find success because japanese men don't like women who think like that who act like that who behave like that they're very traditional in their culture whereas they respect men the men respect the women and the men like their women to be nice loyal respectful polite kind even from this video alone just watching this you know two minute video of this woman speaking on the, her experience in japan we can already you know see certain things and certain traits that you know might be the reason why a lot of those men over there were not taking you seriously because you know she from her perspective how she was even you know talking about her experiences is from a negative point of view which you know obviously she had a negative experience but yeah but she wasn't even trying to be understanding or understand the why these men were not taking you seriously or why they weren't treating you with the way how you feel you should be treated but she's so quick to shun them blame them blame black men for everything but you yourself are presenting yourself in a way that's quite rude quite disrespectful because you're on, not only disrespecting the very black men but you're also disrespecting Jap J japan and the japanese culture and even the japanese women that all oh, they're just falling after these black men because this and that and that and this you're cursing you're ridiculing you're 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 you're, you're demonizing and, and and targeting other people just because you had a bad experience it's like you can have a bad experience and just speak on your experience without being ins and, and insulting and criticizing other people but that's the thing that's how these women are and a lot of men don't like that a lot of men are repulsed by that behavior we run away from women like that that think like that like act like that that behave like that because we understand that these type of women are going to be hell to deal with they're going to bring hell into our lives so it makes sense that a lot of those men would avoid you would not treat you very kindly because you present yourself to be the kind of person that is not very kind but on the flip side these japanese women are the complete opposite from what we know from what we've heard heard about japanese women is that they're extremely loyal extremely kind extremely caring extremely feminine super nice sweet soft and just it's super pleasant to be around see that's the thing that she doesn't want to tell you 
which is the very reason why these men are treating these Japanese women differently. It's not just because, oh, well, you are black, so they're going to treat you worse because, oh, black skin and like, no, it, everything is not about race. Some people just treat other people better because those other people were, dare I say, better. Not because, oh, they're any better at, from a human standpoint, but from a behavior standpoint, from a character standpoint, from a character perspective, from a respect standpoint. If those people, those Japanese women were more respectful, had better character, were more loyal, more kind, more sweet, soft, feminine, yeah, it makes sense that those men would treat them better because that's the type of women that men like. Those are the type of women that men want to be with, not just because they're Japanese, not because, oh, they're from a different race. No, because they're just more sweeter, more better to deal with, more pleasant, more cooperative. They're just nicer. They're nice. Men like nice women. Why? Because they're nice. Men don't like aggressive, hard, disrespectful, combative, argumentative women. We don't like that. I don't think anybody likes people like that. Not just men, not just women. It's like anybody. Nobody likes somebody like that. And if you present yourself to be this way, don't be surprised if people reject you run away from you and treat you less than but that's not because of what you look like that's because of what you present yourself to be and how you behave and how you think so with that being said guys use this as a note for the type of women to avoid and to stay away from with that being said guys if it ain't foreign it's boring if it ain't foreign, I'm ignoring. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you, guys.